welcome back to PHP 101. This video, we're going to get into PHP variables. All right, so let's start off with just the simple usage. So you notice here we have echo hello world. Let's say we want to actually use some variables to do this. So we could do then variable equals hello world. And of course the variable name can be anything here. And when we write variables, they always start off with this dollar sign here. So this is how PHP knows that we're creating a variable here. So we start off with a dollar sign. We do the variable name, whatever it is. It could be name, it could be string, it could be dog, it could be whatever you want the name of that variable to be. My advice, make it descriptive of what the actual variable is gonna be. So for example, if you're displaying someone's first name, then maybe first name like that. Okay, so that's a kind of a rule of thumb when creating variables. So dollar sign, the name of the variable, and then equals. So we're telling it this variable is equal to whatever we then put uh, it equal to. In this case, we have a string. So we're gonna use hello world. And then in order to come down here and use this variable, then instead of echoing hello world like we did above, we can echo our the name of our variable like this. So if we do that, then you'll see we have a second hello world here. Okay, so that's just the simple usage of variables. Now, one thing to keep in mind with variables, there's a number of things I'll run through here. The first one is escaping information. So let's say we wanted to write something like, I'm a variable. Now, the thing to pay attention to is this quote right here. This is a single quote, and of course, these are double quotes. Now, that matters in PHP because you use double and single quotes as uh, indi as wrappers, essentially, for, for strings. So you notice up here, I use single quotes, and then down here, I use double quotes. The reason I've done that is because single quotes will actually output it in literally, whereas double quotes are more of an interpretive um, usage uh, uh, for strings. And I'll show you what that means in a second. Now, if I save this and I refresh this, you'll see that this works fine, I'm a variable. However, if I come over here and I change this to a single quote and I change this to a single quote, you can already see that there's some weirdness happening. You can see that this, this here's one color, this here's another color. And if we refresh this, you'll see that we get an error. That's because we're, what PHP is seeing here is it's seeing an opening single quote. Think, okay, we're starting a string. We're using the, the literal interpreter or the literal designation here. And then, oh, we're ending it right here. But that's not actually what we wanted as the code writer. So then it says, oh, it's ended. And now we have just this text here, which doesn't work. And we have a single quote that doesn't have a counterpart to it. So it... PHP is confused by this. this is, it's not right syntax, so it throws the error. Now, there's a couple ways that you could handle this. The first thing that you can do is what's called escaping. So you can add a backslash before the single quote, and that tells PHP, hey, the very next character after this backslash, I don't want you to render. I don't want you to render it like you normally would. And so PHP says, okay. And now if we refresh this, you can see it works fine. The other way that you can handle this is how I did it initially, is you can wrap this in double quotes and then use single quotes inside of it. And so PHP, what it's seeing is it's saying, oh, he started this string with double quotes. So any single quotes inside of this isn't meant to end the string. So I can just treat those like regular text. And so you can see that this also works as well. Now, another thing that you can do is you can reverse it. You can use single quotes on the outside and, and then you can use double quotes on the inside. So now if we refresh this, we can see that works as well. So you can mess with that a number of different ways to, to get what you're after. Oftentimes, if you're outputting actual just text, so no HTML code, then you would, uh, usually use the double quotes. 
on the outs to start the variable because there's a good chance when you're writing just text, especially if it's a paragraph, you're going to use some sort of apostrophe uh, in that text somewhere and you don't want to have to escape all those or have it break and so forth. So when writing plain text, you usually, the good rule of thumb is use double quotes on the outside. When you're writing HTML, however, you probably know from having done some HTML, I'm assuming, that you may have things like a ref equals, and you have double quotes inside of it. In that case, you often want to use the single quotes on the outside so that you can freely use your double quotes inside here and be just fine. Okay, so that's a little bit uh, on escaping. Another thing that you can do is you can content concatenate strings. I always hate that word, but uh, you can basically combine strings together. So we could do something like I am and then dot a variable. So you can do something like this. You may have seen this with JavaScript. You'd use a plus sign here. In PHP, it's a dot. So if we come over here, you see we have that works fine here. So that's uh, one thing that you can do uh, it, with your strings is concatenate them. <laughs> also, you can do, uh, let's say we want to do some, you know, adding or use numbers with our variables. So you can set your variable to a number. So let's just say number equals, you know, 22. Now you'll notice with numbers, you don't need to put them in quotes or single quotes, right? PHP recognizes this as a, a data type is what we call these. So you have string as a data type you know, integer is a data type. So PHP recognizes that and you don't need to do anything. You don't need to wrap that. Now, if you do, it's not going to break, but the data type will also be recognized as a string and not a, a, a number. So that'll be important when you get into some more advanced stuff and you get more heavily into data types. But for now, just know you, for numbers, you can just put them straight out like this. And so you can see we have 22 here. Now, if you were to add any sort of text to it besides just a straight number like this, that would cause it to break. So it's only strictly numbers. You can't add any sort of text to it. All right, so then the other thing that you can do is you can of course do math with these. Um, a lot of people think code is all about math, but it's really not, but you can still do math. So you could say something like number times two like this, or let's see, let's do number equals number times two. All right, so let me just do this. All right, so we can do that and you see that 22 times two is 44. So we've done some basic math. You could do divided by two. And so we get 11 over here. And so you can do all sorts of different math and, and uh, arithmetic functions uh, with your variables as well. Now, one of the things that you can't do with this is start your variable name with a number. So doing something like this, this is not going to work. This is going to, PHP doesn't like this, and so it's going to cause it to break. But you can add numbers at the end like this. So... PHP doesn't like them at the beginning, but it'll take them just fine at the end. Another thing that we can do here that you'll probably do quite a bit is use numbers in strings uh, or use variables in strings. So for example, you could do something like um, echo my, oh, my age is number. I wish, right? I wish I was 23, or I guess this is gonna give us 11, but <laughs> we can come over here and you'd see we have our string here, my age is 22. Um, oh, actually I didn't, cause I changed the variable here. So it says my age is 22. You can see I put this right inside the string here. Now, when I talked earlier about the double quotes being interpretive, meaning it'll render variables inside of it like this. If I use the single quotes here, however, it's not going to do that. So this is the difference between single and double quotes. If I refresh this, you'll see it actually just prints this out literally. So single quotes print things out literal like this, whereas 
double quotes will actually render these a little bit. And so one of the things you can do is if you, for some reason, need to use single quotes here, you can actually concon <laughs> concatenate this. Uh, so we can go like this, and then we can use our single, or actually we can do our single quote to end that string, use the dot, and then we have our number here like this, get rid of this one. And so you see we have our string, let's add a space, we have our string, uh, we have our dot, and then we have our variable, and you can see now we get my age is 22. The last thing I'm going to show you then is something called variable variables, which is a neat little trick. You may not use it a ton, but it may come in handy for you if you need to do something like this. So we have our, our number variable set to 22. What we can do is we can create a new variable, and we'll just say this is a equals, and we're going to set it to number. Okay, and then we're going to come down here and we're going to change this to what's called a variable variable like this. And so what this is saying is that we want uh, here, we want a, which is set to number. We want the value of that variable with this name. So essentially what this is going to do right here is it's going to look at a and say that's set to number and then it's going to look back up here and see if there's a variable called with the name number which we have which is 22 right here so when we do this then this should output 22. so if we look at it you see that we get 22 right here so that's called a variable variable it lets you it allows you to add a little bit of a dynamic element to your n variable naming. Uh, and when you get into some more advanced scripts and so forth, that, that can potentially come in handy and maybe something that you wanna use if you wanna create something where you need to create variable names on the fly, then this is oftentimes something that you can do to do that. All right, so that's a variables. As you can see, they're pretty straightforward and easy to use.